guys, welcome back to this Minecraft Let's Play. This is Civic Dude, and we're up to episode 10 or 11. I'm starting to lose count after all these things. Well, let's see, where did I leave off? Man, I can't even remember. Seems like the last thing we did was... Oh, I know. Seems like we did this minecart system. So let's take a ride down stairs in our semi-finished uh, minecart system. Ooh, check this out. I don't know if I showed you this. What do you think? What do you think of that waterfall? My plan is to have this waterfall go into an underground lake that I kind of dig out down here. It won't be big. It'll just be about the size of this, of this uh, square room right here. So it won't be huge, but it'll kind of look cool, I think. But, let's see, I've been doing a little cartography since I last saw you guys. If you check it out, right there on the just left of center is where we are. And you can see I've mapped out most of the area. There's two NPC villages on the map, which I'm really, really pleased with. And then there's one kind of pine tree forest section up in the top right. And then most of this, most of this land is desert, which, eh. That's kind of cool. I could I could have better, but that's okay. We can live. We can make do. So what we're going to do today is I want to build a couple things, kind of show you what I've been doing. Um, but let's see. First, we're going to need some redstone, some torches. I'm going to grab one more just in case. Some wood. Let's see, do I have any wood? That'll work. Uh, let's just do that. Okay. And we can build the rest of it outside. Outside. Um, you may or may not have seen my video tutorial on my hidden storage room. But uh, here it is. I hooked up a redstone lamp to it so that it shuts off whenever the door is closed. Pretty cool, I think. But for now, I'm going to store some of this stuff in here because I do not need it. So, let's see what we can get rid of and what we have to keep. I've got a ton of tools on me. I've been uh, working on digging out, not digging out, sorry, working on constructing more of my NPC village. We're still going to move the NPCs from the uh, NPC village that's just to the north and west of my position. We're still going to move them into the mountains here where we where we currently hide out. Ooh, there's a skeleton. Let's go kill it. Receive a beating. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Die from a torch. I've been watching too much B00. <laughs> Receive a death wish. No, sorry. That's my worst impression, by the way. I will try to refrain and not do any more. Die. There we go. Speaking of B00, I've been watching, or uh, been uh, following, and finally saw the conclusion, because it finally posted today, of the ultra hardcore. Uh, season three. I uh, don't know if you guys have been paying attention to it, but it's it was quite enjoyable to watch. Um, I'm, I'm not going to spoil anything for those of you who have not seen it, but it was very entertaining to say the least. Ooh, mushrooms! Let's harvest them just because we can. One, two, three. Okay, we'll take three. Three sounds good for now. Three, sir. Three. Little play on Monty Python, if you didn't catch that. Uh, where do these go? I think they go here. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What do we need? Oh, right. More upstairs. With a quickness. With a quickness. Giggity giggity. Giggity goo. I might cut that audio out. I'm not sure. 
That was kind of... Oh, no. Oh, stay, stay. Ugh. I haven't quite got this perfect yet. Sometimes the minecart, whenever I exit, will end up going all the way back down. So I'm either going to have to have a return button that will send it back, or just dig this out one more, and so it stays up here every time. I haven't decided yet. Um, let me dig... Or not dig. Let me craft another sword while I'm here. Except that I can't. Blast. It's okay. I know where some more cobblestone lies. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let me show you around the uh, NPC village. There's not too much going on yet. It's still under construction, as it were. But we've been doing a little bit of uh, work on it that I want to show you guys. And man, I love this texture pack. This thing, this thing is always, always the best. I still haven't gone to the Nether yet in this texture pack, so I'm gonna have to do that soon and see what that looks like. But you can see that. Uh, let me see. I think we stopped about here last time. So we've dug out a little bit more of our roadway here. We're gonna have. Uh, houses in the walls here. Right here, I'm going to have a bridge over to the next little mountain. And it's probably going to go into this mountain some also. So we're going to have like an, I don't know, an indoor chant enchanting room or something like that. Some kind of shop system. But I've also got a little staircase going here. And this is going to go all the way up to the tree farm up top. But for now, it just kind of stops right here. Mostly because I just ran out of materials. But, ooh, well, let's stay away from the edge. Oh, wow. I never even noticed that ravine there. I'm going to have to go check that out in a future episode. Not right now. Let me see. Can I map anything else out from here? Come on. Nope. Not today, sir. Not today. Okay. So let's go downstairs and build this thing that I want to build. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh, I was scared. <laughs> okay. So some of you um, may follow this guy that I follow on Minecraft, or on uh, YouTube, I'm sorry. His name is MC Crawl. And MC Crawl, let me tell you about MC Crawl. MC Crawl used to be um, pretty heavy into Minecraft videos. He would have he had a hardcore let's play series that was uh, pretty entertaining. I was following that for a long time, and um, he did redstone tutorial videos, and uh, he was pretty enjoyable to listen to. It was it was it was fun. Um, about two months ago, he uh, had to stop making YouTube videos. You know, life kind of got in the way, as it does sometimes, understandably. And so, anyways, he had to take a break from making uh, videos. So, let's see. Oh, okay. So anyways, I was watching uh, Generic B's live stream last night, or a couple nights ago, and who happened to be on there but MC Crawl, who happened to inform everyone that he was in the process of making his next video meaning that he's going to be coming back to the YouTube scene. And I really need to sleep. So, um, that is great news for me. I love watching his videos. He's very entertaining, and he has a lot of information, a lot of good information that, that I didn't know about whenever I started playing this game. So, kudos to him. And I'll try and put a link into his for his channel in the description of this video just so you guys can go check him out because I highly recommend him. He's got some good videos out and he's a very entertaining guy to watch. So, um, back to back to the future. No. Back to um, back to B00 and the Hardcore series. Um, if you guys um, haven't seen any of this let me tell you what it is real quick. It's called Ultra Hardcore, and it's basically just a mod that you put on uh, Minecraft that... I don't have a bucket. Gosh darn it, I'm going to need a bucket. 
It's a mod that will allow you to play in hardcore mode, but there's a few different changes to the rules. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And um, let me tell you, let me tell you about the shoot. Uh, what it does is it's hard, it's hardcore, so uh, you don't uh, regain any health. Um, unless you eat either golden apples, golden melons, or uh, health potions. You use health potions. So, what uh, a few of the guys decided to do for this video series was have basically a tournament. And this tournament was going to be uh, who could survive the longest. And it's a PvP match, and there was eight guys. And I think I need a little bit more room back here. If you don't know, I'm making a boat dock, and this is based on... Actually, it's based on MC Crawl's boat dock tutorial that he just put up. So I'm trying to do it from memory, because I just watched it earlier today and don't quite remember it. So we'll see if I can... We'll see how I do. Um, so anyways, that's not right. Um, where was I at? Oh yeah, so the object of the game is to see who is left alive at the end. And most of the time it's just watching to see who doesn't die first. Because the mobs are harder, um, you don't regain any health unless you are one of the lucky few that uh, have golden apples. And actually they modified the uh, crafting recipes so that... Um, what is the word? So that golden apples require gold nuggets. In I mean, sorry, gold ingots instead of gold nuggets to craft. So that adds a little bit of spice to the game. Let's dig out some area here. Okay, so what we're doing is just a simple boat dock that... Uh, will allow us to... Oh, that was crazy. Sorry. Don't know what happened there. So this boat dock is going to allow us to dock our boat without worrying about it floating away or anything crazy like that. And hopefully we can get this done rather quickly. With a quickness, as it were. So, let's see. Oh, more diggy. More diggy diggy. Have to plug that. Okay, let me throw some more. Actually, no. What? Let me just turn the brightness up because I'm thinking that it's a little dark for you guys. So hopefully this helps out. Okay, so what we're going to do, and oh my gosh, what in the world is going on? Where is that? I can't remember what that is. That's okay though. I fortunately don't have to remember where that is. Or do I? <laughs> okay, so we're going to dig out. Oh, man, I'm going to have to dig out one more. Diggy, diggy, diggy. So there's not much to talk about while I'm digging, so I'm going to do my best to entertain you with a joke that I just heard. And it, no, no, I'm not. I won't. I won't. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. So this is from an old college professor of mine who was famous for awful jokes. <laughs> it was, it's a, and it, I'm going to apologize to any females watching. It is a blonde joke. Anyways, it goes, there once was a blonde who took, who, uh, there once was a blonde who took two hours to watch a 60 minutes episode. Isn't that awful? I told you guys it was bad. 
but Chow didn't believe me. Okay. There. Now, we're gonna need... Gosh darn it. Go. Be gone. Be gone with you. I really should have been more prepared for this. I didn't think this would take this long, so I apologize, guys. Let's see... One there, and there, there, and then dig out some more. Where's my cobblestone? Don't need to fill in... Don't need to be replacing these things with dirt whenever it's a precious commodity. I'm gonna have to go down there and remember where that is because I don't remember. Um, oh, now I remember where it is. Yeah, that's uh, one way to get to the zombie spawner I found a few episodes back. I think I showed you guys that. Okay, now let's fill all of this in. Nope, not with stairs. Good lord. Good god, man. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Minecraft, why are you freezing on me? Okay, there. And dirt. Where's my dirt? Where's my job, dirt? What we shall do is, oh crap, you guys hear that skeleton? Oh, please. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we're going to put some stone bricks right there and there because we need a couple buttons. And what we're going to do is put the buttons there, there, and now my redstone. You guys hear this? I think it's a skeleton walking around outside. I'm going to go kill it. He's interrupting my show. Where is it? Ah, no time. No time. Okay, so let me test this real quick just to make sure that this works. Hit that. Okay, perfect. So, redstone here, and here, and here, and here, and here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is... Stairs there, stairs there, dig out some more. And leave a comment in the, in the uh, comments section if you can think of a better way to do this. Siska, I'm talking to you since <laughs> you're pretty much the only one who comments anyways. But I'm talking to you, anyone else out there who wants to comment, because I welcome, welcome the comments. Now... Uh, let's see. Okay, so we need... Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I've gone ahead and filled in the rest of the stairs, put some regular blocks in the corners here, and I've added a couple pressure plates. And the pressure plates are here solely for the purpose of preventing the water from uh, flowing from the back all the way out to the front. Now, down at the bottom, we've added some redstone, which right now is in the off position, which inverted right here pushes these pistons up. Now, whenever I hit either of the buttons, it pulls the pistons down. And what this is going to do is it's going to release some water 
from behind to push us forward and on our merry way. So let's get upstairs and test this little guy out after we plug up the holes, of course. Okay, oh, missing my stone bricks. And brick, 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 brick. She's a brick house. But that's okay. Okay, now we're going to need a couple more pressure plates. And this design is slightly different than MC Crawls, but that's okay. We don't have to be perfect. We don't want to copy exactly. I mean, come on. Okay, we're going to steal some water here, put a source there, and let's put a... S Did you not blow into there? Okay. And we'll put a source right there. And... Why didn't you... Oh, it's because there's a hole in the ground. I'm going to have to cover that up eventually. Okay, now, what I need to do is make some signs. No, wait, I don't have to do that. I need two signs. And this is going to be useful to keep the water from flowing inward from the lake. Right here, right here, and right here. Okay, now what we can do is dig out these two blocks. And you see how the water is flowing backwards right here? We don't really want that. So what we're going to do is replace it so that it is no longer flowing backwards. And I'm going to have to go ahead and cover this hole because it is not cooperating. So let's just cover it up like that. There we go. Okay. See? No flowing water. Just like we want. Now, let's test to see. Ooh, that, that looks like it's going to work. I hope this works. <laughs> I haven't tried this. So I'm hoping that I don't just get shown up on camera here. Go. Go to the water. <laughs> how slowly I'm going to the water. Okay, that's taking way too long. Get in the water. There we go. Okay. Now, we land like so. We want to leave. Oh, failure. That's okay. We'll fix it. Be right back. Okay guys, we are back, and let me show you what I did to fix the problem. The problem was I was not getting enough water to push me out into the actual lake. So, what I did was I changed from using two pistons to now I'm using four pistons, and I had to use four piston uh, repeaters, or not piston repeaters, four redstone repeaters to get the current to go in, and I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but this was the best way I could think of at the moment, so I'll probably change this if I can find a better way in the future. Um, if you know of a better way, uh, leave a suggestion in the comments, and I'd be more than happy to put that in for, for my solution here. Um, anyways, I changed from the stone to using the new uh, uh, pine-colored dark wood and mixed with the uh, regular oak wood. And the reason for that is because I think, it one, it looks good. Two, it's a good use of the new textures, and I, I'm always a fan of supporting the new textures. So let me just close up the back here, and we can test this thing out. Now, the reason that I used the dark wood, was, oh, ankle breaker. The reason I used the dark wood was because it's below the water, and so I'm giving it the illusion of it's wet wood. You know, no jokes, please. So it's wet wood, and so it's darker colored than the wood that's on the surface. I don't know. It kind of made sense in my head, so that's what I went with. Okay, I've got one more thing to do. And that is add a couple pressure plates. Actually, four pressure plates. And I need more wood. 
Uh, maybe that one? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm sure this is not the most efficient way. Actually, I can do it like this. Watch this. This way I get rid of the current. See? No current. Now all I have to do is add the water, and I'm going to have a source block in each of these blocks. I can add the water, and we can test this guy out and see how it works. And I'll end up covering covering that in the back. But for now, let me leave it open because I might need to fix it. So let me go get the boat, and we'll give this a test. Okay. Preparing for entry. And we missed it. Dang it. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. One more time, folks. Okay, here we go. And... Oh! I've heard of this happening. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Wow, that's never happened to me before. I was watching MC Crawl's video, and he actually warned warned us about that. That was amazing that that actually happened to me. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to find a way to fix that. And, oh my, I don't see any of my stuff. Where's all my stuff? Oh, there it is. Okay, I was getting worried. Are you kidding? That's all the experience I got back? I was at level 20. Come on. Really? That is awful. Okay. I have to fix. I'm going to find out a way to fix that. Maybe if I land on half slabs or something. Oh, there we go. Level 6. I'll take it, I guess. Okay. Let's assume that we've had a safe landing and try it out. Oh, no. Oh, failure. Okay, let's try it one more time. I refuse to let this beat me. Okay. One more try. And if this... Ooh, there's some string over there I left. If this doesn't work, I'm going to have to just end the episode and figure out something else to do. Aha! Success! Ah! Except I'm gonna... Br <laughs> well, folks, that is how you build a perfectly executing automatic boat uh, ramp. And <laughs> please hold your insults because I know there's many ways to insult this design. It's not that great. Well, it's working pretty good now. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you for joining me. I know this has been a kind of a less than professional episode, but we built something. We had some laughs. We died for no apparent reason. And I've got lots of plans still in store for this, el this Let's Play. And I would like to thank you for coming along. My name is Civic Dude, and I will see you in the next episode.